guys, it's Kendra. Today I have my April favorites for you. These are products that I've been loving this month. They are makeup products, hair products, I have some wellness, body types of things. So yes, I hope you guys all enjoy and let's get started. So the first thing I wanna talk about is not technically a favorite yet, but I just started using it and I wanna talk about it now because I want to compare my results in like th six weeks because that's when you will start to see results. So back in December, I had eyelash extensions put on and I had a bad reaction to it. My eyes, it was not, it was not good. So I had them taken off like two weeks after and ever since my lashes have just not been the same. They are not as thick as they used to be, not as long. And I used to have really good lashes to wear. I never felt that I needed to wear fake lashes. But recently I've been wearing those individual lashes by Ardell a lot, kind of when I film and if I'm going to an event or something, just to make me feel better I don't have so I don't have gaps and that sort of thing in my lashes. So I'm hoping that this product will get my lashes back to where they were. It is by Fusion Beauty. It's the Stimulash Fusion Advanced Formula Intensive Night Conditioning Lash Enhancer. So it looks like this. I just started using this and I apply it every night on the upper lash line, just a thin line, you don't need that much at all. And I will check back with you guys in, probably around my next month's favorites. Uh, so it says on the back that it's clinically proven to thicken, strengthen, and accelerate the natural lash enhancement process in as little as four weeks. So I took a picture of my lashes without makeup or anything just to kind of see what they look like and I will keep you guys posted. So let's start with makeup. So this month I've been doing a very bronzy look, keeping my skin very dewy and warm and then my eyes kind of golden. So if I don't really want to wear makeup that day, I'll still do my face, you know, bronze and glowy and then just skip my eye makeup. The product that I've been loving for my face is this new product from Pure. It's called the Glow Together Radiant Matte Shimmer Bronzer and it's, it's giant thing and I love that that has a big mirror on it. So here's what it looks like. You get a lot of different strips. You get three strips that are shimmery and three strips that are matte. And I like this because it it's not super shimmery to where you can swirl it and it's not going to be like glitter all over your face. It just gives a nice glow like it says on the back. So what I do is after I apply my, I should have done foundation and concealer first. Oh, we're going backwards. After I apply foundation and concealer, I just do a little bit of loose powder just so that this blends in better. So I'll set my under eye concealer and then I'll kind of do a little bit around my cheeks. And then I'll go in with a big fluffy brush, kind of swirl it in, and then go all around the perimeter of my face, focusing on my cheekbones, not my cheekbones, but like, you know, right in this hollow area of my face and it warms up my skin tone so much. It gives such a beautiful glow. If you don't want the shimmery part, you can just do the bronze or the uh, matte part. But I just like how the combination of all these colors looks together. It looks super natural and it just gives my face that kind of like you just were out in the sun all day and just have a really nice tan to your skin. Another thing that I've been doing is using specific ones to do certain types of things. So this one right here, which is kind of that cool tone brown. I've been using this to contour. So if I want like to contour my nose a little bit, I will use that. Um, I use this for eyeshadow. I'll take like the shimmery shades and just apply it all over my lid. I think this is just very versatile and it's just perfect for spring and summer. So back to foundation. So many people have been talking about this and I was very intrigued and honestly, it's really, really good. It's the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion. So it says Buildable Luminous Foundation. I have it in the shade N3.5. So you open it like this and you have the cushion like all those other cushion foundations. When I apply it to my skin, it looks a little bit dark, but once I blend it out and complete my makeup, it matches perfectly. I don't really know why I like this so much. Like it, I just keep grabbing it. Like I have a couple other BB creams and CC creams that I've been using so frequently, but ever since I got this, this is the one I grab for, especially if I want my makeup to last all day and just look flawless. This is what I grab for. It feels super lightweight on your skin. Once you apply it, it gives you a very dewy, dewy finish. 
but then when I set it, it just kind of looks more natural. Uh, the brush that I've been using, I've been using this. It's It Cosmetics. I don't think it even says what it's called, but it's this flat top brush and it works really nice. I just kind of pop it in there and then buff it in and you can just do a light application or you can add a little bit more for more coverage. I just think it's so pretty. So definitely recommend this if you guys are looking for a drugstore foundation. It is beautiful. And then two concealers that are also from the drugstore that I picked up by I think the beginning of the month. They're both from Physicians Formula. This one I used to use in high school all the time. And when I got it again, it was just so strange. I was like going down memory lane. This is the concealer RX and it's in the shade Fair Light. I honestly don't know if they have any other colors in this. They really need to expand their color range. It's so bad. I don't understand. They have like one shade for each for the concealers. It doesn't make any sense any sense to me. Unless it's just my CVS that doesn't carry them, but this was all they had. So it's pretty light. If you are any darker than me, it will be definitely too light for you. So this is extremely full coverage. It is a rich concealer, but it doesn't cake, it doesn't crease. It it somehow is just so good and I don't know why I stopped using it, but I love it. I just have been kind of feeling blah about all of my concealers. So I went to CVS and was just looking for something and I was like, you know what? I want to try something that's a little bit better for me as far as ingredients go. So I picked up the Physicians Formula ones and this is the other one that I grabbed. This is new to me. I've never tried this before until this month. It's the Super CC Color Correction and Care CC Concealer. And this, I was very skeptical of at first. I didn't think I would like it because as I first applied it, it was just very, very lightweight. And I didn't think that it would give me any coverage, but it actually does. It works really nicely. It feels like nothing on your skin. I have it in the shade light medium. It's also SPF 30 broad spectrum sunscreen. But again, I don't think they had any other colors of this. It just doesn't make any sense. This one is darker. So what I've been doing is applying this to the back of my hand, putting a little bit of the RX concealer in with it, mixing them together. It gives me the perfect color. And this one gives me a little bit more coverage. And this one makes it more of like that dewy finish. The two of these I really like. I kind of wish I could just have one that did it all, but I feel like I have to kind of mix them, but I really do, I do like it. Okay, uh, next for a blush that I've been using every single day. And I grabbed this out of my, like blush, all my blushes. I kind of rotate them so I give them some love when they don't get it very often. I, when I first got this, I wasn't impressed with it. I was kind of upset that I bought it. Let me tell you what it is. It's the Ambient Lighting Blush in Luminous Flush by Hourglass. And it's so beautiful. I was just sold when I saw how pretty it was. I don't know why I didn't like it at first. Maybe it's because I was more pale when I bought it. And now that I have a little bit more color, maybe I like it more with my skin tone. So I have it on today. And honestly, the color luminous flush that's exactly what it does it gives my skin just that flush of pink it looks so natural and it, it's kind of more of a brighter pink and then it's mixed with that gold so it really just I don't even know how to explain it but it, I've been loving it every day I reach for it. it has a very soft finish to it too and then I'll just blend it out with a powder brush they have so many other colors too so depending on your skin tone but I would recommend that you apply them to your skin because swatching them doesn't do them justice you need to apply them to your skin just so you can see how they look and I really like this I have not grabbed another blush all month and last for makeup I have a lip gloss so oh I don't even have anything on right now I just have a uh, chapstick I have the Murad um, what's it called? Lip thing? So I'll put this on so you can see what it looks like. So this is by Lorac. It's the Alter Ego Lip Gloss in Duchess. And every video this month, pretty much, I've been using this. Sometimes I'll add a lip liner and a lipstick underneath and I'll apply this on top. This is so comfortable on the lips. It gives a perfect mauve pink shade. So for the most part this month, I've been using this or the Buxom Gloss in White Russian if I want a little bit more of a pout. This one gives you more color and it's really pretty. It's just an easy lip gloss you can grab and don't have to think about it. Moving on to hair, I have a couple hair products I wanted to talk to you about. The first one is from Vanity Planet. This has saved my hair this month. So 
We went to the river a couple weeks ago and whenever we go to the river, my hair gets so dried out because you're in the sun all day long. The heat, it just really makes it feel like straw. It doesn't feel good at all. So I've been using this to get my hair back to normal, back to its healthy state. And it's a good thing to have on hand during the hotter months, just so you can keep your hair healthy. It's the Remy Moisturizing and Restorative Hair Treatment. It is natural, it's chemical free, it's to hydrate, dry, and damaged hair. It also boosts your shine and volume. So this is just a mix of a ton of oils in here. And basically what you do is you just take about a couple tablespoons of it, run it in your roots of your hair, and then bring that all the way down to the ends. Then I put my hair up like in a clip and I let my hair just soak it in for as long as I can. It says 30 to 45 minutes, whatever you have, is fine. I think I left my on this past time for like an hour just because I wanted it to just sink into all of my strands. And you can just tell after you rinse it out your hair feels a lot stronger and then after I style it it looks a lot shinier as well. Uh, so let me read you the ingredients because they're all super good for you. There's coconut oil, sweet almond oil, argan oil, castor seed oil, sweet orange oil, and vitamin E. So if you're looking for a natural product to really help restore your hair definitely recommend this. And I also got you guys a coupon code for this. So if you guys want to check it out, I will put that in the info section down below. Next up, I have a styling product and I don't know why I haven't talked to you guys about this sooner. I swear every time I do my favorites, I'll the next day when I do my hair, I will pull this out and I don't know why I always forget to talk about this. So it's by Matrix and it's the Texture Builder Messy Finish Spray. Whenever I do my hair, it just looks a little bit flat sometimes. After you style it, after you straighten it or curl it, especially I like to do, use this on wavy hair, it just doesn't look completely finished to me. It looks a little bit too perfect. So I like to mess it up. So after I will curl my hair, I will take all the strands, break them apart, and I'll spray this throughout it. And it gives my hair just that messy, undone look. It gives it more texture, more body, and kind of like you just walked outside and just had the wind through your hair. So. Definitely recommend this if you guys have, you like to do that kind of wavy style because this breaks up the curls and just gives your hair a little oomph. I always take this with me when I travel. It is so good. I know you guys will love this. And last for hair, I have a blow dryer that I'm using. So the blow dryer that I was using previously, there was something that I just didn't like about it. It, it was the weight distribution. I know that sounds very strange, but I do my hair a lot and I hate blow drying my hair, it's such a pain and I have a lot of hair. Even though I cut it off, I still have a lot of hair and it takes me a while. So the one I had before, I don't know why, it was just longer here so I felt like it was hard to use. So this one, this one you can find at Sephora, it's by T3, it's the same brand as the white curling iron that I have. It's like the one with the rose gold accents, I posted a picture of it on Instagram a while back, but it's the same company and I, well first of all this is very, very pretty. I love this little like bevel detail and you can take this off if you don't want to have the attachment on but I like to use this because if I'm doing my hair smoothed out which usually when I'm blow drying it I smooth it out first and then I'll either straighten it or add some waves to it depending on what I'm in the mood for. So this has two different settings as far as speed goes and three different settings for the heat. There's also a cool button as well. So if you guys are looking for a new blow dryer, I would definitely recommend this one. It cuts down my drying time a lot. What is it called? I should probably tell you that. I think, yeah, I think it's a T3 Micro. So I will put a link with everything. I'll put a link to everything down below. I've been very impressed with this this month. So if you guys blow dry your hair a lot, consider upgrading your blow dryer. Okay, and last up, I wanna talk about some wellness body products. So the first two things I got when I was in Palm Springs, when did I go? I think I was there two weeks ago with Andrew. We went for my birthday weekend and we were walking, we were shopping around or like waiting for brunch or something. And I saw this shop that I wanted to go into really bad. It was called the Body Deli and it looked really cute. I wasn't really sure what it was, but I saw something that said like natural or something. So I was like, Andrew, we need to go here. It has uh, skincare products, hair care products, body, just so neat. So if you guys are in Palm, it was, we weren't in Palm Springs, we were in Desert Wells, but they had a couple, they said they had a couple different stores. So I got one of the body lotions. I also got the Revitalizing Face and Body Mist, both in the Jasmine Tubro scent because I love the scent of Jasmine. Oh man, that smells so good. I like a real smelling floral scent. I don't like a fruity floral. I like it to be very 
very real. So this one has Jasmine Absolute, Tuberose, Ylang Ylang, Orange Blossom, Lavender, and Moroccan Rose. And they have so many scents. They also have a website, so if you guys don't live in California or you're not by Palm Springs at all, I'll put their website down below. I was just browsing through it the other night and they have so many things I want to try. It is a little bit on the pricey side, so it's kind of like an indulgent thing to buy, but I think it's worth it for just like a few things. They also gave me a few samples of their skincare and I love them so much. I tried a cleanser, uh, an exfoliator, a moisturizer and they all just felt so nice on my skin. So they are raw and vegan, they're GMO and gluten free, tested on family and friends and they're made in the Coachella Valley. So they just have a ton of really good ingredients, coconut water, coconut sugar, jojoba oil, barley grass juice, carob pod, sprouted brown rice, carrot seed oil, thyme, vitamin E, just a ton of really nice organic ingredients and the lotion feels out of this world amazing and the mist what I do with this I think I got the sample size of this they had a bigger one too but I was like okay don't want to spend a ton of money here but this one you just mist on to your body your hair your skin whatever you kind of feel like I like to keep this in my purse and mist it on my face to give me a little extra hydration during the day dehydration is one of the first signs of aging a misting regimen of two three times a day is best to help reduce fine lines and wrinkles so let's miss this on so good. So if you guys have some time to kill, just go on their website and check it out. It's super cute. Next up, I have some chakra mist and body roll on things that I've been super into lately. So you guys know if you watched my past videos that I started going to a yoga class and it has been so amazing. I just love it so much. So our instructor passes around some oils just that we can rub onto our neck, onto our hands, kind of some aromatherapy benefits. I think she uses Young Living Oils and I'm really interested in trying them now because I've heard so many good things about them. So if you guys use them, let me know your thoughts down below. I got these ones on Vitacost and then I also got a couple from Aveda. They're basically the same types of things. So they're balancing chakras and they're aromatherapy products. So I have the Enlightening Crown, Expressive Throat, and Insightful Third Eye. So it's just, Kind of targets different areas of your body different chakras and it helps to balance you out and they, they have different scents my favorite one i keep this one in my purse no this one is in wait yeah insightful third eye mm, my god it smells like lavender so if i'm ever at like a stoplight i'll just rub some of this in between my palms and it just soothes me it calms me down if i'm in traffic or something like that and I keep these around the house. I keep some of them in my office. I keep some in our bedroom. And like this one is the Chakra 7. They have different numbers. I don't know which each one is. But this one is the crown. So this one's the same as this guy. And I like this scent a lot. It smells just very... It has like a little bit of a spicy scent to it. Yeah, it smells really nice. So if I'm ever feeling like blah or if I'm cleaning around the house, I'll just mist these around. I've just been really liking them to calm me down, help me find my center. This month has been a little bit stressful for me, so these have just helped me to kind of zen out and just take some time in the day to be still or relax and just not be so stressed all the time. The last product I wanted to mention is a product to help with headaches. It's from the company Badger and it's the Aromatherapy Headache Soother and it's supposed to cool and relax the mind. It's 100% natural and certified organic. And it has a bunch of really good ingredients, um, beeswax, olive oil, menthol, peppermint, sunflower, mandarin, eucalyptus, sandalwood, calendula, rosehip. So I got this because I am the type of person who will just, if I have a headache, I'll take a couple ibuprofen or Advil and just, you know, I want an instant fix. And I don't want to rely on that anymore. So I figured I would try something like this out just to see if it worked. And the crazy thing is, so I keep this in my purse and I had a really bad headache one day. I was running errands or something. And I just took some of this and I rubbed it underneath, like on the back of my neck, on my temples, and my headache went away so quickly. I'm not saying this is going to work for every single one of you if you get really intense migraines. I don't know, but I think it's a good option. And if it does work, then that's amazing. This was super inexpensive too, so I feel like why not? It's probably like the price of coffee. So I've been really enjoying this. It's a nice thing to have on a hand 
just in case if you're I don't know out with friends or something and you just come down with a really bad headache that's the worst so I think it's important to have some natural options to give you some good remedies so those are all of my favorites for this month I hope you guys all enjoyed these if you guys could leave a comment down below I would love to know just like one or two of your favorites this month it could be anything it could be a makeup product it could be a skincare product if you notice I didn't talk about anything skincare related that's because I just did and updated skincare routines. I'll put that down below if you guys haven't seen it yet. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for spending the time with me today and I will see you very soon. Bye.